What's up guys, welcome back to Ultimate Anime Plus, here again with my assistant Yuri Panferov. Uh, one of the top amateurs in the world for 205 and going pro this year, so definitely look for him on social media. Today we're going to work some more basics, uh, similar to last week. The only thing we're going to add this week is the cross. So you'll see this is a nine part series, even though we're doing it in three parts each video. You'll see what we work up to, it'll be a little bit more advanced next time. But cross hook kick. Last week we just did hook, then we dropped the low kick. Now we're just going to go cross hook leg kick. All right. So you're going to come in, cross hook, take a little snap, drop the leg kick. Again, we're going to do this on pads and we're going to do this on the back. So if you had both, then it's really good to do like three rounds on pads and then go to the bag and finish off three rounds on the bag. So we're going to come in and we're going to go uh -huh. move around a little. All right, technique wise, make sure you guys are extending the cross, turning over the hook, a little higher with the hook, boom, and I want a little bit of a step. Make sure you guys aren't on your heels too when you practice this. If you guys don't have any experience, I want to make sure you guys practice this right. So let's go slow one more time. Cross hook, take a little step, boom. Cross hook, take a little step, boom. Cross hook, take a little step, boom. Remember, last week, that's all we did was go to the lead hook. Remember, last week, we did lead hook, and then you drop, boom. Go to lead hook, boom, drop. Different scenarios, you will use different techniques. All right, these are both great, two of my favorites. So let's go again. And if you guys have any questions about the back arm, there's a couple different ways you can do it. One, he's dropping the leg kick, he's posted. Two, you can actually, if you want to get a little bit more power, you can swing and turn that kick over. Both are right. Alright, so we're going to go. Good. So, let's say you don't have any pads. You want to practice on the bag. With a partner, I can hold the bag for him. Good. have a partner guys if you don't have a partner and the bag is swinging like I said last week I want you to use your front hand and post to stop the bag whap, whap, whap. if the bag is swinging we're gonna hold it put it in place and start over so let's say he doesn't have me now come over here good fix that bag we'll move around a little good And another thing you guys see, he's hitting the bag with his shin, not his foot. Good, come back over here. Now, if you don't have access to a bag, you don't have access to, to mitts, and you don't have access to shin guards, you can actually, even if you didn't have gloves on, you can keep yours on. We could do this as a drill back and forth where I go cross, hook, take a step, touch his leg, come back. Then he comes, cross, hook, take a step, touch back. As long as you guys don't kill each other's legs, it's a good way to drill. Oh. And when the person kicks, you would just lean forward a little to catch it. All right, don't turn this way, it would hurt your hamstring. Pop, pop, here, boom, oh, then he would go, boom, oh, then I would go, boom, oh, then he would go, boom. Oh. All right, guys, great drill for beginners, just cross hook, drop that leg kick. Wanted to give you guys a few ways to drill this in case you guys don't have equipment. If you do, even better, you can do as many rounds as you want. All right, guys, if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Any questions, leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe because we're adding part two for next week. Thanks, guys.